filthy little sinners and welcome back to Faith Farm, which is finally 100% out. And I'm like super excited to playing because it's just a cute little game. Um, we are in chapter three. Uh, dear baby bat, you've done a fine job with the thorns and I think you might be able to help with something big. Come and find your old pal Eddie. I'll be standing by the docks looking out at sea. Okay, we'll do that after we're done watering our crops and stuff. Are they harvestable today? Okay, these aren't though. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, let's put it on the market. Button mushroom. Bum 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 Ha ha. Eddie, Eddie. Down by the docks, he said. I don't remember where he was. Is this him? Yeah, that's Eddie. Hello, landlubber. Now, which is the tastiest fish of all? Ah, baby bat. Thank you for coming by. I've had a tail to shiver your timbers. It started one night when I was sleeping in my bunk aboard the Grace. Grace is my ship. And a fine one she is. She's also my wife. I woke up that night with soggy socks. That wasn't so bad, but whenever I rummaged through my seed chest to find another pair, it was full of fish. That's when I realized that Grace was caught up in a vicious whirlpool and she was going down. I grabbed my lucky fishing hat and leapt into the cold waters. Furiously, I kicked and swam until I reached the shore. I looked back and watch my grace sink beneath the waves. Ah, but I can always build another ship and marry another wife. What I can't do is fill bellies with fish I haven't caught. I can't let the good folks of Azoria starve. They're counting on me to provide that delicious fishes for their chowders and dishes. You still got that rod I gave you right? You think you can increase the market's fish supply? Uh, okay. I love fishes cause they're so delicious. I love fishes cause they're so delicious. <laughs> yeah, I got a fish. I need to catch fishes cause it's part of my quest. Mm, get in here. Ah! There you go. Fishing's kinda annoying. This game reminds me of Sunhaven, except in Sunhaven you can be a demon. I like being a demon. That in Sunhaven is a uh, pixel game. It's all 2D and junk. I fell in the water. Come on, turn around. Aha! One, two, three. Well, I guess I go about the rest of my day. Let's get some beans. Nine beans. Uh, get some cauliflower. Oh, not enough room in my backpack. Okay, that's fine. Ah, Zoe! She's messing with my microphone. Can I help you, Zoe? Can I help you, baby girl? Zoe, go away! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, how do I get my- I guess they don't need to be watered right now. Oh yeah, that's right. If we cook them, they're worth more too, aren't they? On the market. Mm, we could just put a whole bunch on there and then like- Yeah. Let's just let it cook overnight. Mmm, dear baby bat B, my apprentice and I have noticed you preparing to explore the mine. Have you considered the benefits of carrying potions with you? They're light, convenient, and very useful should you encounter anything dangerous. Come visit our shop and learn about our selection of potions. They're the next best thing to having a healer in your pocket. Okay. I need a bit more farm. Build catalog. I need more sand. Maybe while I'm down at the beach I can col collect more sand. There's a thing over here. Bamboo rub. How are the fish biting? Hi, baby bat bee. I can smell the fish from here. You've done well, I'm telling you. I'll turn in you into a mariner yet. The town will eat well tonight, thanks to you. You know, I should probably introduce you to my sisters. They own a ranch in the plains of plenty. Taking care of farm animals can be very uplifting, but could also be also plain filling since they make so many tasty things like milk and eggs. And cheese, too. I'll always love the sea, but I'd lick a loach for some cheese. Head on over to Erlene's uh, shop, the Cluckin' Dough. And she and Loretta can 
have been carrying on the family business of selling and breeding chickadoos and cottontails. This away. Greetings. When spring comes, I feel like the muses are decorating the world with blossoms. Beauty of a day, eh? What can uh, your pal Orlean do for you, strangely? Strange. Talking is hard. My name, your name is Baby Bat, and Eddie sent you? Well, he must have gotten down off his high horse if he sent you to us. Now my sister and I can tell you everything about raising happy and healthy animals on your farm. I've been holding onto the key to that coop near your farm since no one was using it. Here, you can have it. Your coop can house the roundest of fluff balls, the cottontail, and my personal favorite, the chiku. After you purchase an animal, you need to register it in your coop ledger. This is important. If the animal isn't registered, it won't know where its home is. You can also use the ledger to rename them. Only if you want Loretta names are... Or only if you want. Loretta names our animals, and I think she does a pretty good job. I'm gonna get two chickens, and I am going to name them Hawk and Balls. As is the tradition now this is a big step this is another living creature that is now under your care you need to let them out feed them give them attention love them just like i do for you right zoe he just looked up at me like what what are we talking about I was trying to take a nap. So, are you up for the challenge? If you are, you can buy one of my chickus. I want two chickus. I'm gonna name you. Huh? That name is inappropriate! What do you mean that name's inappropriate? That name is inappropriate! What are you talking about? I am upset. I'm upset. Johnson. God. I also want to buy another one. Come on. Come on. We're going home. I don't remember where home is, but we're going there. I think I saw a thing back here earlier. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, where's my uh, chicken coop? Is this it? Nope, that's house storage. Well, darkness is blocking the fucking barn. Where the fuck is the coop? That's my house. Yeah, make a minute. Can you put mine in the microwave, though? Yeah, I'm a heathen. Where the fuck is my chicken? Oh, here it is. Never mind. We're good. I was looking everywhere but the spot in which it actually was. Register buddy. This game won't let me name my chicken cock. It says it's inappropriate. I wanna name my chicken cock. Bet it won't let me name the second one balls either. I'll show you inappropriate. After this, do you wanna play a cat game? Oh, okay, I'll find another video to record then. It's not like I have a shortage of games. I think I have a few, uh, early access and, like, other keys that I need to review anyway. What it says on the thing? On the- on the box? Okay, what does it say? I put it in for three minutes. Okay, I have to return to Earlene. I feel like with a name- uh, Earlene, she probably has, like, a southern accent. Earlene sounds like an old southern name, right? I'm critter catching. I'm catching critters. I'm c c c c critter catching. Uh, alright, Earlene. Can I have another chicken, please? Aha! Balls! But I spelt it like the god of murder from Baldur's Gate. Um... Okay, she's gonna teach me a wave emote. Oh, my axe isn't good enough for that. How do I feed them? Oh, I use plant fiber. Well, that's good, because that's- we have plenty of those. Okay, please don't be closed. Are you Loretta? Oh, you're Patel. Where's Loretta? There she is. Good to see ya. I saw that the paths are clear again. Thanks for that. Uh, I'll teach you about feeding animals. If you let your animals outside and they're grazing land around, they'll be able to nibble their hearts to kill. Tent. If there isn't enough grass to graze on, just plant some. Okay. Tell Eddie about our progress. Let's get some cottontail. Eh, yeah, sure, Ethel's fine. Okay, where's Eddie again? I think I went the wrong way. Eddie should be over here, right? Uh, really, there should be little surprises to anyone in this island. We seem to attract the strangest magical phenomena. No one is really sure about when the whirlpools started, but I've been tracking them and I noticed they 
I'll start at the beach with the entrance to the old saltwater mine. I'd bet my last sand dollar that whatever is causing the whirlpools is shut away in that mine. I'd go check it out myself, but the mines are locked ever since Cleo managed to wrangle all the jumbles in there. Jumbles are the objects that got animated by the wild man. One day, my steering wheel just rolled off and attacked me. It was wild, but we managed to get them all into the mine. I saw what you did with that magical staff of yours. Maybe, just maybe. You might be able to handle some jumbles as well. You'll need to go in there if you're gonna find the source of the whirlpools. Uh, key to the saltwater mines, though. Go find Cleo. Cleo! I need the key to the saltwater mines, Cleo. Oh no, Cleo. Where's Cleo? There's Aspen. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is the guy that upgrades our shit. Let me see your furniture and shit. Uh, I need more florin and I need undiscovered idol. Where's Cleo? Cleo! Those thorns were a real thorn in my side. I don't know how to do an Australian accent other than saying Cleo. Uh, to be, to be completely honest. I know you've got a real passion for exploring the unknown. You braved an ocean journey, for goodness sake. That's not nothing. I'm Cleo, Azorius premier adventurer. You were the talk of the town at the cozy critter inn last night. I almost went into a Regina accent for some reason and I don't know why. Eddie sent you to get the key to the saltwater Minds. Oh wow. I didn't know if you could if I could trust you with that key. Sorry, not that I can't trust you to use it. We locked the mines for a reason, and I can't let anyone in there. It's full of jumbles. It's true that you've been doing a bang up job of getting rid of the thorns. Hmm. Tell you what, if you can show me that you're capable of taking care of yourself down there, I'll give you the key. The best way to show me your preparedness is to buy yourself a healing potion. And to cook some food to keep your energy up. Rita has a quest for me. Hello, I would like to buy a potion, please. I would like to buy 10 potions of healing. Thank you. Backpack full. There, that'll free up some backpack space. Okay, it is sleepy by time. All right, water to crop and collect the food. Oh yeah, and I have to feed my aminals. Oh, thank you, my love. Pet the baby, pet the baby. They're so cute. Can I brush the chicken too, or do I just? Chickens are so cute. Oh, did you take the rest of them and the other one? Cook the egg. Cook the eggy. Okay, bye bye aminals. I have to go on a journey. Uh. No, oh, I've got to beat the shit out of some household items that were animated by wild magic. I'm gonna stop doing an accent for you because uh, I can't do an Australian accent. Time for the preparation inspection. Let's see, potions, food, yep. Okay, we're all equipped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going to the dungeon. Oh, I can't go up there. It's too cold. Where are the mines? Oh, they're on the other side of the <laughs> rainbow frog. Okay, it's dungeon time. Mm. Is this or? Mm. Oh no, that's cold. Mm, there's some ore. The children yearn for the mines. Yearn for them, I say. Is that the frog that I dropped earlier? Oh, it was a, um, a jumble. They don't seem to be hostile. Oh, mimic. That's definitely hostile. A treasure. I guess that's more creative than just calling it a mimic. I mean, like, I'm, I, I'm, like, for far enough that, like, I don't need to keep going, but, like, at the same time, I want to see what's in this. Okay, never mind, these things are hostile. Well, whatever, this backpack full. Oh, iron ore. So we're getting iron ore and copper ore now. Ooh, level three mining. The children yarden for the mines. Ooh, I can make a Paradox seal. Good, I need one for the fast travel thing near my house, right? 
Oh, it's time to go home. It is 11 p.m. The mine. Hold on. I have, I have like more stuff to mine. It's bedtime. See you in the morning. Ah, they forced me to go home. The bastard. Staff practice. You already know how to take care of thorns. Just thwack them. You can use it with jumbles too. Uh, mm, hello chickens. Oh, my backpack's full. Okay. I need to build seal crafting station. Citrine seal. I need more peridot. You okay, Zoe? Oh, she made a little noise in her sleep little baby okay return to cleo we made the copper seal no don't you look like an eager explorer Yee. welcome back that slot on your brow tells me you've been working hard well take a look at that you made a seal well done fellow adventurer soon you'll be slipping through these dungeon levels like a spring peeper through a grease trap now i know the mayor went ahead and included a set of basic tools with your home but i'm sure you'd like to upgrade them at some point the mayor may Mentioned it, but never followed up. Wow, that sounds like a lot. Uh, that sounds a lot like our mayor. Well, let me walk you through it. Using better materials can make the work easier, give a higher yield, or even work on some objects that are too hard for the more basic tool. I'm glad you asked. You can visit our local black sender. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, I need to go in the mines more first because I just used a bunch of ore and shit. The chicken is following me. Mm. Oh, if we craft a um, hammered copper seal, it activates a teleporter in the dungeon. Can I use this hammock? God, the hammock looks so cozy. I can use the log. I can sit on the log. Oh, didn't I buy like an outfit last time or something? Yeah, I bought this like little dress, but uh, I don't like it nearly as much as my starting little tunic so we'll stay in that all right that's all the time that i have for today so i'm just gonna leave it off here uh thank you everyone for watching and hanging out with me and i am looking forward to playing more of this game in the future it's super cute super fun it fixes a lot of the problems that like i've had with uh farming games in the past so yeah i'm enjoying my time a lot uh but i'll see you guys here and uh well for me in a little bit because today's my recording day so i'm gonna be recording tons of videos but um for you guys i'll see you on wednesday all right bye bye that one was for clarabelle goodbye clarabelle